Are you thinking about moving to Markham? Did you know that Markham has 30 neighborhoods? Some are huge, some are small, but nonetheless, that's a lot of neighborhoods. Which one is the right fit for you? If you were thinking of calling Markham your home, then come along this journey with me from neighborhood to neighborhood, where I will show you what the neighborhood looks like, the amenities, the school, the real estate, and the whole shebang. Today, we are in one of my favorite communities, located in the heart of Markham, a living link between past and present, home to Markham's most visited park and iconic Main Street, a recognized landmark within GTA. Yes, we are exploring Unionville today. Hi, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is to know about living, eating, sleeping, playing, working in Markham and the surrounding areas of York region, then subscribe below and tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in this area. My name is Faiza and I've been helping people just like you make that move to Markham and I love it. As a local real estate agent here, I want to help you make that move. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Markham. Now let's go to Unionville. Unionville community is one of the very few communities that do not have an assigned boundary. I guess everybody wants to be part of Unionville. Based on some consensus, Unionville is situated between 407 to the south Kennedy to the east, Roddick Road to the west, and 16th Avenue to the north. Commuters in this community use the new Unionville GO station situated just south of the area. From the northernmost part of the neighborhood, it takes around 12 minutes to drive to the station. For drivers, they are very close to Highway 7, Highway 404, and Highway 407, which makes it very convenient to drive to Toronto. Buses serve this area well with several York Region transit stops and Viva Rapid Transit route. Unionville is a shopper's haven. There's a lot of choices on Main Street, Unionville from clothing, flowers, beauty salons, chocolate, jewelry and accessories, wedding dresses, gifts, cafes, pubs, restaurants, you name it. Elsewhere in the community, there are a lot of plazas that offer small businesses, restaurants, pharmacies, grocery stores, etc. Along Highway 7 also, there are a lot of options for the residents. Some examples are Markham Town Square, located on the corner of Warden and Highway 7, and a plaza on 16th Avenue and Kennedy Road. Unionville has over 18 parks, but the one Unionville is known for is Too Good Pond Park. The pond is home to Canada geese. Just steps away from Main Street, the park offers five miles of trails around the pond surrounded by mature trees. Other parks in the community have children's playgrounds, splash pads, basketball courts, baseball diamonds, and walking trails. There is a community center in Unionville for residents called Crosby Community Center. This conveniently located community center houses an ice rink ideal for hockey tournaments. You can learn to skate and get involved in power skating programs and public skating. Crosby Community Center is also home to city registered and drop-in programs for children to elder adults. The Lamplight Room and Community Hall hold, uh, holds events for up to 180 people and is available for rent at a very reasonable fee. There's also a meeting room to accommodate smaller events and activities and meetings. There's a Unionville Library in a very pretty building located on Library Lane and it has public access to computers and meeting rooms. Some other attractions in Unionville includes Varley Art Gallery. It is the one-stop shop for all things art with a rotating display in the front of courtyard and various exhibits and classes being offered inside. The gallery is the place to go to, this, to see amazing art of all mediums. And then there's Stiver Mill. It is the last of the grain elevators and feed mills in Markham. It has been preserved to help educate visitors about the history of Markham and has become a well-known landmark of Unionville. It is situated beside the original train station and it is the perfect location for storage of deliveries for the local farming community. It was the backbone of Markham and has had a huge role in shaping Markham into the city it is today. It is now the location for the weekly farmer's market which happens every summer. And then there is Pride of Canada Carousel. Enjoy going round and round on a one-of-a-kind carousel created by junk art sculptor Patrick Amiot and his wife Bridget Laurent. Ride on one of the 44 Canadian characters and make lots of unforgettable memories. And then how can you forget the stroll along the main street? It has an eclectic choice of boutique stores and dining choices. This street deserves a video of its own. 
Within this community, there's also Markham Civic Center. This is the city hall for the city of Markham. Besides the offices, the Markham Civic Center offers an outdoor skating rink. It is free from December 1st to March 19th, and skate rentals are also available. Markham Pan Am Center is a legacy sports venue from 2015 Pan Am, Para Pan Am Games. And today, the Markham Pan Am Center is the city of Markham's world-class sport event training and sport event hosting destination. The facility features an Olympic-sized 10-lane, 50-meter swimming pool, 36,000 square feet of gym space, a two-level fitness center, and a number of meeting rooms. Unionville Planing Mill is a popular local attraction featuring local restaurants and shops. One of the restaurants they feature is called Next Door. Residents rave about its unique and delicious dishes at affordable rates. It is known as a warm tavern for Canadian plates. Now let's talk about schools. There are three public schools and three Catholic schools in this community and all six of them are very highly ranked. This community also offers two high schools, Bill Crowther Secondary School and Unionville High School. Let's talk some real estate now. Main Street generally has a Victorian and Gothic style homes dating back to the mid 1800s. The curb appeal in this neighborhood shows the pride of ownership that residents have here. Within the village core, there are several subdivisions with single family homes on big lots that were built in the 1970s and the 1980s. Newer homes are being offered now on Highway 7 that are a mix of condos and luxury towns that are more affordable options. Homes near Two Good Pond are estate homes on premium lots. A two-year-old luxury four-bed plus den, six-bath, 2200 square foot townhome with rear double car garage and finished basement on Highway 7 and Unionville Main Street is listed at $1,258,000. Luxury free whole town home in prime downtown Markham location, approximately 2850 square feet, three bed, four bath on Warden and Highway 7 listed at $1,600,000. Detached six bed, four bath home on Carlton and Main Street listed for $2,520,000. Detached five bed, three bath home near Highway 7 and Main Street listed at $1.96 million. That's basically the wrap on the tour of Unionville. I hope you found some value in this video. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email and I'll be happy to help you make a smooth move to Markham. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can learn anything there is to know about living in Markham. Until next time, I'll see you around town.